Hello guys, it's Moo Moo back again. And wow, can you believe it? Like, it hasn't been 24 hours yet. And look, people have already cleared uh, CPAP already. It's very, very impressive. It's very, very awesome good too. Like I'll probably do a enchantment video for that one too. Cause apparently there's rumors of it being having a different weapon coefficient. And I'm very, very intrigued about that. But first things first, I know it's kind of late cause everyone's focused on CPAP now or CMOC, but I'm going to be doing a, uh, tutorial on how to do CDEV. So this is how I personally do it. Um, excuse the music. This is the song I was uh, getting ready to focus in on. So here we go. What usually people will try to do is at least it's ready up buff and then it's usually a countdown that happens. So right now, the first part is really, really easy. So this is a few certain moves that you just have to recognize patterns for. So whenever he wave, waves his uh, staff like that, you know that it's gonna be uh, the little platforms, the yellow platforms. And that's always gonna be the hand slam. So if he puts, puts his hand like here and then slams it down, just avoid anywhere in front of him. And then this is what I call the sneeze. So this is the sneeze. So he does like this and he pushes everybody back. Uh, the only concern for you being a knight is just to kind of have your shield up. And this is what I call the ghost. So this is the hand palm with the two ghosts. And in the first two, part, first two phases, it doesn't target anyone uh, except for the one people further this way. And this is the part that is very critical for being a knight. Around uh, 50, 59 million, 59.9 million approximately. Uh, about that time you want to keep your eye out because he's about to do the first stun. And before you do the first stun, I would probably position yourself in a good spot so that everyone can see you and make sure that you have your name tag. So a lot of the fundamentals, I hopefully I'll leave in the comment section below in terms of getting seed up ready. So after you're done doing the stun, what you usually do is say one so people know that, hey, like I'm right here, come to me so I can bubble you. That's the purpose. Right immediately right after it, there will be uh, elemental spawns, elemental ads spawning in the middle of the map. And what you definitely want to do is head there as quickly as possible so you can basically use your, use Typhoon Slash to wind them all up, gather them, and then push them back. And for the rest of the this, if you get the shielding down and the recognition of moves, it's actually really easy. I think the hard part, the, completely fully honest, the hard part about CDEV is just the fact that the parameters are a little bit more constricting. You only have three lives. Uh, everyone has to kind of, you kind of have to pass a certain point to understand the different phases. So there's not a lot of forgiveness in that aspect. So I'm really happy that they're going to be releasing normal dungeons, versions of this. So yeah, this is definitely a sneeze. If he does, does this, he's about to sneeze. You just hold down your shield. Uh, a trick for getting the hops each single time is after the apex of his jump or his little hop, that's when you want to grab. The moment he's coming down, so once he goes up and then down, on the down downward momentum, that's when you want to grab him because then you immediately teleport over. It took a while for me to get used to. I kind of slip over here and there. And again, see, this is the little shield. I say one, kind of sometimes multiple times. Uh, the, funny enough, the C dev round after this, I actually messed up pretty hard. I lagged initially and then I started sweating, palm sweaty. And I just uh, slipped up on the second stun and I felt really, really bad. Uh, just keep in mind that people make mistakes. Uh, just voice it, they're like, hey, I messed up, sorry, yada, yada. And as long as they're understandable, they shouldn't be too mad about it. And this is what I meant earlier in my previous video, that you can use the bubble like some other people do to shield it. I kind of used it kind of poorly in this moment. I should have probably used it at the turning point, so that way it was been more effective to kind of save them time. But I was, again, I was still getting used to it. And for the rest of this, all you really want to focus on as a knight after you learn my build is to apply as many buffs for your teammates as possible if you're solely just gonna be there for bubbling. And obviously the bubble. I, I get a lot, uh, at least level seven Defender of the Faith if you wanna stop the laser. If not, you can get level one of it. it just in case you're, again, your teammates get stunned, you can immediately just dash over there, save them from a, like save them a life basically. Because again, you only have three lives in CDEV. Uh, for this part, uh, did, I have, is rumored that there's not double, it is rumored that there's no double lasers back to back. So if he's going to do a 360 and then reverse, there's no two reversals back to back. But that's a rumor. I, I personally haven't seen it to be not true. So that's just all I know. And yeah, for this part, it's it takes a bit of time just because uh, for people who are, aren't super, super good or have the best gear, you're going to be doing most of uh, your dodging and then making sure you're staying alive for the, this duration. Uh, I'm not the best one to ask in terms of check marks. All I know is that my, my uh, 
feel the stay crazy was just telling me, yeah, we're doing pretty good. So he was reassuring me the whole entire time. Uh, Fatty Wizard was really good. I don't, uh, shout out to Fatty Wizard. He was like basically carrying, if you can see his damage. I was doing very poorly in terms of damage. I was just focusing just, again, staying alive. And for this third part, he's gonna pull everyone in. Try not to move. The first time I did this uh, a while back, I shifted to the left and let everybody die. So that was very, very big oopsie on my part. Um, yeah, so, and then for this part, what people don't understand is that you want to gather around that stair right there. And then he'll always start his laser kind of where everybody is and you shift to the left. So that way you basically have like 345 degrees of, for him to turn before he actually does something. So it gives you some time to start damaging him. For phase three and two, instead of the ghosts targeting the furthest, yeah, their furthest allies or your furthest characters is going to be targeting the closest characters. And the best way to dodge a ghost is just to watch the, your feet. They don't move very, uh, really fast, but you'll see uh, four little arrows pointing at you if you are being targeted by the ghost. Again, I don't know why, but it took me a while to get that too or notice it. And I was like, why am I dying from the ghost? So yeah, this part is uh, really similar to the beginning. He occasionally teleport to do this laser. This laser is really easy to dodge. If you're a knight like I am, you can practically just tank by staying in the water. Yes, you won't do any much, or you won't be doing a lot of damage. But right now, I'm more focused on being a bubble knight as opposed to a DPS knight. And the Lapin Tears are very good too. Uh, I, I don't know if it, was, if it was this run, but there's if there's moments where you see your teammates really low and they're not really close to a, a priest, it's to your benefit to heal them because they're doing the DPS for you. And I think that's like a big thing that a lot of people kind of miss when playing this kind of game. Like they forget that even though we're all trying to get equips this is still a, a party style dungeon and we're trying to help each other out to get that those drops and so yeah you basically want to be supportive and encouraging see as in this moment i saw that the arrows arrows on my feet so i immediately dashed away just to get rid of the get rid of the ghost because they are one hit for most people there's a few times i did survive the ghost um, but again that's not that wasn't very dependable so i wasn't certain that i would always survive the ghost so i've generally avoided it and it could be a little bit different if I do decide to have the 70% block as opposed to the 40. In that moment, that was a really good catch for me for the hello hop, even though it wasn't very useful in that moment. And as long as people stay grouped up in this, in the, throughout the whole entirety of the uh, Chaos Dev Rock, uh, the little hand slaps will be generally spread out further. Uh, the re reason being is uh, he's kind of targeting kind of a general area if everyone's grouped together. Uh, once they get kind of clumped together, you're kind of losing area which you can just dodge the laser. So it's very hard to coordinate, so keep that in mind. See, as you can see, I toggled off my iron defense just because the priest used uh, Holy Spirit just to increase that little bit of DPS, uh, getting into the habit of it, even though I know that I don't really do a lot of DPS in this specific moment, and that was a very good hop for me as well. Uh, even though I don't really contribute a lot of DPS, I'm still doing as best as I can because sometimes it really comes down to the, the final like 10 million. I kind of messed up right here. Uh, I, told, I was more focused on trying to get the hop instead of getting the elemental adds. But I just said whoops and I went back to getting it. And again, the little lapin tier, um, I forgot what it's called. I can't really hover over it because this is a recording. Uh, one of the lapin tiers will do damage and heal a certain amount around you. It's very good for this part if you're uh, needing heals. Because there's a debuff within CU Dev Rock that will mitigate your potions. The Lapinth here is kind of overwrite that because they're not potions. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, in this moment, uh, see, as, see how I'm spinning? Also, you, you can also use Divine Strike to push them back a little bit and then start bashing them into that wall. Unfortunately, if you pass through it, that's why dying is necessary if you want to hold them back entirely. By dying, you'll be teleporting into the portal and then you'll be dragging them through that wall and then running away as fast as possible so that way they don't chase after you. Yeah, you also use the environment to dodge the ghost like I did there. And this is another sneeze, and I hold the shield. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, just, just as long as you recognize the patterns and the windups. That's just what is critical. And your mountains can be used very useful too. Initially, I bought a lot of special tonics, but after a while of getting used to it, it, it starts to feel like FD in terms of difficulty. So it really just comes with practice. As long as you get the practice in, you find a really patient and supportive group, you'll get far. Let's see. So this part, when he does a slam, it's very misleading for the uh, for the, the, the slice of triangle that he's zoning out. I have been pretty good at avoiding it. The little palm circles, if I have yet to mention it, 
uh, Leak will kill your spirit, so try to avoid them and do a good amount of damage. So the main things to avoid are just the ghosts, because they're one hit. Uh, definitely be there for, to uh, shield a stun and avoid the little yellow platforms. You can have a setup to, uh, like how I did, where uh, you can have you can have it so that when you're close by bosses, none of the character models will show up, make it a little bit easier. My computer does run it pretty smooth. The only thing that I was concerned about was my internet connection. And that was a little bug thing. I'd never seen a, a square be uh, separated from the little Nazi looking thing. <laughs> the little uh, pinwheel like thing. So yeah, this part I'm still trying to gather the Ellie ads just in case the wizard forgot, but Fatty Wizard was a great wizard and he's very, very awesome. And so was Ligers, even though I did mess up a little bit. I apologies. Simple. This part, uh, the final phase is at about 8 to 9 percent. And it's the same thing as the third one. This is a massive stun. Uh, you get really good at it if, like, as long as he pulls you in. So yeah, like, right in that moment, I bubbled the, the laser just to give that extra DPS because time for them to do damage or time saved from dodging is equals to more DPS because they're not moving. After you shield the last one, your goal is just to hold on to these elemental ads so that the rest of the DPS can just finish it off really quickly. This is actually a very solid run. This is a great party. I want to thank everybody that uh, carried me, basically. It's not difficult, guys. I, I know the first few times you're going to be very nervous, sweaty, worry about messing up, but as long as you join enough practice ones or do it with your guild, or even if you want to have some practice, go ahead, feel free to add me if you want to have a night to support you. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, we did, we did pretty solid. There wasn't a lot of deaths, so this was pretty good. I'll show you my mess up one. I believe it was this, this one. Yeah, so this one, I super messed up. I super effed up, so, and I totally messed up. See, I just... Yeah, it was, and that was after I said I was trustworthy too, so that's pretty funny. Uh, gotta, gotta love it. So I basically messed up here and Second one, I slipped up because I was my palm was sweaty. Gosh, I'll show you. Yeah, so the second one, I, I definitely messed up. So it's about 49 million. I'll probably put the sub notes in the description as well as to like what kind of time frames. Oh, and a big shout out to um, Urban Two, I think his name. Uh, but that, this is where I messed up. Like, uh, but yeah, big shout out to Urban Two. Like he was so patient with me during all of the uh, practice CD rock. So, like, shout out to you, man. If you're out there and you're watching this video, like you are an awesome knight, an awesome human being. Thank you so much. So yeah, th that's where I messed up. This was a little sloppy around admittedly. And then here's an example where um, I believe Fatty Wizard got stunned. So if you see the moment where they say S, I kind of stand by him just to make sure that he doesn't uh, die, just as a backup. Like you, know, you kind of want to ensure that your team, your carries, their DPS are alive. I mean, simple game sense in most games. So yeah, but yeah, other than that, like. That's all your role really is. Bubbling the shield, or bubbling the stuns, making sure that you're staying alive for the whole entire duration, uh, buffing the team, and de debuffing DevRock. Again, ask any questions in the comment section, uh, and I'll probably leave my Discord again in the, the uh, description so that if you guys have specific questions, go ahead and just contact me directly. Yeah, here you go. Hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, yeah, Mumu out.